This simple thin wall product. Do you know how to make it without scrapping? First, let's look at the structure. The material is 6601. Size is 317 by 257 by 38.5 millimeters. The overall wall thickness is 2.5 millimeters. The thinnest part is 1 millimeter. There's only one piece. It belongs to cavity thin wall products. You must have thought of that. For thin wall prototype products, the first step is to rough and shishal the product. My students also arranged the process like this. They first performed roughing and aging processing. The whole process took two days. The roughing was fixed with glue. Using a 16mm washing knife to rough, and leave 1.5mm for the inner wall. Only leave a 0.3mm margin on the shape. No margin on the bottom. Just leave the coordinates. Here is a small question for you. I'll reveal the answer at the end of the video. Why is the allowance on the inside much larger? And only leave a 0.3mm margin on the outside. Brothers who know can also type in the comment section. For more colleagues to learn. The speed of the knife is 5500. And feed radius 1000. One cut is 1.5mm. Some brothers in the last video said my speed was too low. I can only say that you may not have noticed. I'm using a regular machine. Not a high speed machine. The maximum speed is 8000. To protect the spindle. I usually use 6000 rpm at most. We reserve some process drawing cables. For fine machining. The roughing is done. Rough machining is done. Natural aging for 24 hours. Start fine machining. Take the products that have been aged and deformed. Wash out a plane as a datum plane. And use this surface as the bottom plane. Glue it. Start fine machining. Use a knife to process the whole process. The processing sequence is to process the bottom plane. Then process the side. Then tilt angle. The process of lead knife is also in this order. And then rake surface processing. And so on. The following shows the processing process. Brothers who only care about the process can fast forward to avoid affecting your cutting speed. 10 mm rough machine. One cut of 0.3 mm for 6 mm. One cut is 0.5 mm for millimeters angle processing. One cut of 0.4 mm for 10 mm. Then, process with a small knife at an angle. Drilling processing. 8 mm ball cutter for surface processing. 4 mm ball cutter for surface processing. Chamfering processing. Cutting process. Cut the balls. Finish the surface of phase A. Next, start processing the side. Vacuum chuck is clamped directly in the vise. When the right angle iron is used to check straightness, the product is fixed with a pressing plate. Continue to dial for a few minutes. Okay, let's start processing the side. Use a large knife to rough cut. The small knife continues to tilt. Then drill holes and chamfering are done. Let me show you briefly. Okay, the first side is finished. Remember when I rough cut the 1.5 mm margin on the side wall. It's for strengthening when processing the side wall. If the thin side wall is not thickened, it's basically impossible to Brothers, process. Have you thought of it? Okay, all the sides are finished. Let's start to make the last Find piece. Find a square to make an inner support. Then measure it. Fix it with 500 and to glue first. And then use auxiliary blocks to fix the glue. After the glue dries, it can be processed. Use an egg-shaped milling cutter to remove the process bump. Then use a 16mm milling cutter for middle scraping. One cut, 0.5mm. Start with an 8mm angle. Use a small knife to process the whole process. 8mm milling cutter to polish the bottom plane and the thorn wall. 4mm angle light knife. 4mm ball cutter to drill the surface. Finish the process. Take out my sledgehammer and knock hard. Finished. Off the machine. If you like my videos, you can follow and collect to avoid not finding it when you need it next time. Okay. That's all for today. If you have any questions, please send me a private message. If you're interested in learning more about or furniture design, you can send me a private message. Let's talk again next time.